Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogtober day four. I got myself together today. Okay, so I'm currently at my 29, 29 week prenatal visit, obviously with Cam. Yeah. She's been crazy. Hey. You're fine. Um, she was fine this morning with breakfast, getting ready. We got out the door on time. It's just as soon as, we, as soon as we got into the office, she's been running around like a mad woman. <sighs> you knocking? You're okay. So any of you pregnant mamas and you guys have to like pee in a cup, it's not easy with this one. So I'm just waiting for the doctor to come in and then I will give you guys an update afterwards. Okay. okay guys, sorry. So it's almost dinner time. <laughs> I had to change out of my clothes from earlier because it got so hot today. Um, it's like in the 80s. So it definitely does not feel like fall, but overall typical day. Um, I had my appointment earlier like you guys saw and everything's looking normal. I'm still measuring small. Um, the doctor's still measuring me at like 26 weeks and I'm technically 29 weeks today. So she's not worried about it because I had an ultrasound not too long ago. So she said that since everything was normal then, she's not worried about it today. At the next appointment, if I am still measuring small, then I'll go ahead and get another sonogram just to make sure everything is okay. But this happened with Cam, so I'm not too worried and I kind of expected it, but obviously I want everything to be okay. So I will keep you guys posted on that. Overall, it was a good appointment, aside from the fact that Cam was just crazy and running around like a mad woman, but we made it. So anyway, like I was saying, it's dinner time. Um, I'm about to make dinner. And since so many of you guys were requesting cook with me videos, I figured I would share with you guys what I'm making today. I'm doing a cauliflower fried rice. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over Pinterest. Um, it's not a new thing, but this is just what our family likes to eat. So I'm doing my own version and I'm going to be adding pork to the dish. So it is a cauliflower fried rice. I sometimes do kimchi fried rice. Um, today I'm going to do pork and I'm going to have brown rice on the side just in case I need more substance. But typically we just have the cauliflower and it's really yummy. So, so I pretty much did most of the prep already, but I'm going to show you guys how I cook everything up. This dish is super, super easy to make. That's why we make it all the time. But I went ahead and already riced my cauliflower. You can buy pre-riced cauliflower nowadays. So it makes things really easy, but I already had a whole cauliflower. So I decided to rice it myself using a food processor. And then in the same food processor, I uh, chopped up my onion and my garlic. Makes it really easy. So that's the base of it. And then I'm also going to be making crispy baked tofu. If you guys saw one of my cook with me videos, I made like an Asian quinoa bowl with crispy baked tofu and it was, it's delicious. I still use that same recipe and um, I'll link the video right over here. So in case I forget to tell you guys what the steps are, I made it in another cook with me video, but I already have my tofu drying out. <laughs> so what I like to do is take a Ziploc bag like this. Take the tofu and just put it all in the bag. I felt like it was a busy day today. I was trying to take photos from my Instagram because I had some time and then all of a sudden Cam woke up. So it was just a little hectic this afternoon, but I'm happy that I was able to prep everything, which is really nice. So, how's this doing? Okay, perfect. Okie dokie, so, oh, parchment paper. I need that. Parchment paper is key. I feel like I'm a newbie to parchment paper. I've been using foil forever and I keep asking why everything sticks to foil because I wasn't using parchment paper. So <laughs> I do have the oven preheated to 400 degrees, but in the Ziploc bag, I like to go ahead and add a tablespoon of olive oil or any type of oil really. I do like a heaping tablespoon. 
and it's all equal parts of all the seasoning that I'm about to put in. So a tablespoon of soy sauce. Like that. Then it's gonna be a tablespoon of arrowroot starch powder. You can also use cornstarch. I just have arrowroot powder on hand, so I like to use that. Okay. And I like to mix, mix it up like that. This is actually really good with veggies too, like roasted veggies. I've done cauliflower and broccoli in this type of seasoning and it turned out really good. But just shake it up until it's coated and then just make sure it's all in a single even layer like this. I really enjoy tofu, but the hubby also likes this. But I also know he's like a meat eater, so that's why I'm adding pork into this. But what I love about this, not only because this dish is super easy, you can easily customize it to however you like it. Make it vegan, make it vegetarian, make it meat lover. It's, I love it. This goes in the oven for about 30 minutes, and it should take 30 minutes to make everything else. So. Everything should come out at the same time. Okay. okay, so now onto the cooking part. The tofu is in the oven, the brown rice is cooking, and I'm gonna go ahead and brown up the pork first and then scramble the egg. A large pot at medium heat. I'll put in some oil, like that. Add in my pork. I season everything, every single layer. I'm all about flavor. Okay, so once I have the egg and pork all cooked up, I'll add some more oil into the pan. Then grab my onions and then throw them in. I like to turn my heat up a little bit more at this point because everything's gonna go pretty fast. So I usually cook my onions for like a few minutes to make sure that it, it's cooked through and translucent. This looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my cauliflower. So I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. Add the cauliflower. It usually just takes a few minutes for it to kind of steam up and start to cook through. But it's already looking delicious. So I'm gonna let this cook for another maybe few minutes before I start adding all the seasoning in. So I'll turn up my heat probably to medium high at this point just so the cauliflower can really start cooking and frying up. This is obviously a healthier version, so you don't expect it to be like a really fried, fried rice texture. It's more just to give it like the illusion of rice. Um, because cauliflower, unless you're frying it, it's not really gonna fry up the way you expect it to be, but it's still gonna be delicious. Cauliflower is looking pretty good. I did taste it and it tasted done to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning in. I definitely like to add some sesame oil, probably like a tablespoon, um, some soy sauce, about a tablespoon, but honestly to your liking, obviously. A little bit of Chinese spice spice. I really like this, especially with pork. So gonna, oh, go ahead and just do like a teaspoon. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. Okay, so it's definitely to taste. I don't have exact measurements. I don't usually like to cook with measurements, but um, that's why I'm always tasting all the food that I make because I want to make sure everything is well seasoned. Okay, so the rice is done, the tofu is almost done, and the cauliflower fried rice is almost done. And the hubby should be home soon, which would be nice. He hasn't called me yet, so that's a good sign. So you guys know I've been loving my spicy. So, 
If you ever go to an Asian store or Korean market, this stuff is magic. It is so good. It's a hot pepper paste, a Korean hot pepper paste. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. But a little, oops, a little goes a long way. It is so good. It just flavors like any type of Asian dish so well. It gives it so much flavor. So again, I used like probably a teaspoon or two teaspoons. I just want to give it a little bit of spice. Sometimes I like to add peas if I have it or frozen corn. That's always good too. This is what it looks like with all the seasoning and the peas. Again, season to your liking. Definitely taste it and make sure you like it. I feel like it really makes a difference. So at this point, I'm going to add the scrambled egg and pork. Back into the dish. And I can turn off the heat because the pan's pretty hot. Okay. Oh yeah. The tofu is all done. Yum. Okay, everything is cooked up. This is what the cauliflower fried rice looks like. This is what the crispy baked tofu looks like. And then we have our brown rice. So we did pretty good on time. It usually takes like a half hour to make everything. Obviously I was filming, so it probably took a little bit longer just to get everything situated, but we did good on time. So what I like to do is add everything together, add a little bit of sriracha and it's delicious. Um, the hubby and Cam love it. So I make this often. But yeah, we're just gonna wait for the hubby to get home so we can eat. But I hope you guys enjoyed this cook with me portion of the vlog. If you wanna see more cook with me's, definitely let me know down below. Okay, it's the end of the night. We put Cam to bed. She did much better. We didn't have to go in a second time, which I feel like lately we've been going into her room a second time, making sure she's good, and then she'll go right to bed. But tonight, she didn't even cry. Well, just kidding. She did cry before we left, but then she stopped after we left the room, so that is a good sign. Um, but I'm gonna go finish editing the vlog so I can upload it for tomorrow. But I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogtober so far. If you are, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.